Yes, guys, welcome back to the Once You're In, You're In podcast. We're back with another show review. Uh, we were actually at the show, so it was the Two Bros, One Bro Pro show. A bit of a mouthful. Um, and, we... and we're going to come at you with a, a full review of the men's section, because we're actually there for the men's section. And then we'll do a bit of a review of the, the women's section, um, which we actually weren't there for. And we do have two special guests coming on the podcast, which is very exciting. So stay tuned for those, even though... It'll probably be on the thumbnail in the title, but stay tuned. So, first of all, mate, let's talk about the elephant in the room, which is Michael the Bull getting beaten up. Yeah, and I did try and get him on, by the way, guys. He's not got back to me. Yeah, Finn has messaged him. So, yeah, clearly, it's if you have over 100k followers, it pops up to the top of the requests. So, I should have really messaged him. But is that actually a thing? You no, know, but I know if you're verified, you do get like prioritization but i'm again, verified. verified we both paid 10 quid to instagram a month for yeah, a to be verified, yeah yeah so yeah that's that but yeah michael the bull was walking around in the t-shirt that said m the bull um did you, on the background. Um, Not did you watch his, so he didn't remember, like, football player. did you watch his stories yeah yeah i saw his stories and i actually fully I said, can i say agree I'm yeah saying, i completely agree with what he was saying yeah, yeah. Please, two bros, don't cancel me. Uh, but um, but yeah, I, I agree completely. Like, £50 for the males and £50 for the females is a joke. It's stupid. Well, we, the... we it, online, it's 45 quid for each class. Yeah. But it says, or cash on the day. So we were like, oh, we'll just pay cash on the day. So we got money out, didn't we? And then when we got there, like, I said, oh, can we just get two spectator tickets? And she was like, yeah, £50. And I thought, I was like, oh, we've saved, we've done well. well like, we've, This is class. We've saved ourselves, what, like? 40 quid, 50 quid for two instead of 90 quid. And then she was like, she just gave me the the band, didn't she? And then I was like, 50 quid each. And I was like, um, yeah. <laughs> I was like, so, what? Yeah, I did say quid. it on a piece of paper right next to me, to be fair. Yeah. And then, so I, I don't know who got in a fight with my uncle, um, but I know it was one of the security guys. Perfect. And I went he to said, the toilet. He said it was all of them. He said four security yeah, guys. Yeah, I went... I, I went to the toilet and one of the, the dudes was like by the door on the phone. And like, I'm not joking. Like he was literally chatting. Like it was almost like, I almost wanted to like video him. Cause it was like literally him being like, if you come here, bro, I'm do like, he was proper aggressive. And I was just stood on the door and I like walked by like, Jesus yeah. Christ, who's, who's pissed this guy off. So I think the thing is though, is two bros that if anyone's ever actually been to any of the shows, it's not a good vibe. It never is like, and I think anybody can agree to that. And it's a shame because all the comments on like I know like bodybuilding and borders, I think like buys and tries posted about it. And all the comments are like just people agreeing, being like, God, it's shit. Like two bros is just a bit of a naff organization. Like it's quite sad, isn't it? Like... Yeah, they're extremely orientated around money. Um, it's all these things to do. Like the coat we were saying literally 50 quid for part A, 50 quid for part B. So a hundred quid to watch a show where there's literally you're in a pee hall with 10 lines of chairs that's it there's no there's no theater the stage is literally a one that you could prop up it looks like you've it's almost bought we it did say time. didn't we one thing that was decent is i thought the lighting was okay i thought the back yeah. lighting was good but yeah the venues shit the venues always been shit, venue's like, shit. everybody and knows that like coaches, like coaches 100 like 180 quid for a coach quid quid for a coach is cool. fine, yeah like, if anyone doesn't know that, if like, anyone knows, is it 180 quid for both? Surely that's not. Yeah. Surely it's just you get 180 quid and it's both. You get the male and the female. But if it's not, imagine that. Imagine, like we said, you know, you have a guy in men's physique and a girl in figure, yeah. and you're paying 360 quid for a coach. Like, surely not. Surely it's 180 for the whole day. Yeah. So And yeah. you get the nice VIP, VIP uh, seats at the front. Oh, yeah. Wow. Did you see yeah, the, the, front, the, big, the big armchairs? You get, like, that's what you get. Oh, like, yeah. Yeah. So you can get, get, get can... yeah, we'll sit next to JT. I reckon, yeah, pretty, I that is pretty much what you get. You get to sit on an armchair next to JT. It's, yeah, it's, How yeah, it's, much it's, is it? 180 quid. It's bargain. Bargain, man. <laughs> no, fuck it. I'll pay that. I'll pay that right. again. So Let's in go. terms of the thing with Michael the Bull, basically, he yeah. was just putting it on his story. He was moaning about it, which he was exactly, he was right to do it. Someone needs to say it. And why yeah. not someone who's quite well known in the game? It's, it's good that he was voicing his opinion. But then apparently they, they, put out didn't they um let's actually go on to the statement um i'll bring it up on the screen in a second they they said that it was the issue was that he was going into the backstage area where females were dressing apparently didn't but a coach's pass can allow you to do that he didn't have a coach's pass i don't think no but so a coach's pass can allow you to go backstage where females oh yeah if you pay 180 quid you're allowed to be a perv all you want oh sound yeah Yeah, it doesn't matter as long as you're paying so this is the um, the statement from Two Bros. Uh, 
A male athlete was ejected from the venue whilst attempting to access restricted areas where females were dressing and tanning and re refused entrance in accordance with two bros safety policies. Apparently he'd said, can I go backstage? The show's done. I think his partner was backstage and they were like, yeah, that's fine. So he went backstage and then apparently got jumped. Throughout the day, said individual was being very aggressive towards security staff who were just performing their duties. Several attempts were made by this individual to access restricted areas without being in possession of the correct passes. So he didn't have a coach's pass. He's Michael DeBool. He's like a top 10 Olympian. Just let him in. Like you'd yeah. think that, that I know that's no one should get special treatment, but if someone's going to, it would be him. You know what I mean? It'd be like, oh, yeah, it's Michael DeBool. There should be a certain amount of respect yeah, for somebody exactly. who's in the yeah. game. And like, I don't mean that in a way like he can do whatever he wants, but they should know who he is and be, let's say, somewhat respectful to somebody who's probably spent a lot within the Federation and put a lot into yes. it, you know what I mean, and like brought a lot of publicity to the sport. There are strict policies in place to comply with female athlete safety, but again, what? So if you pay 180 quid, you're allowed to be a perv. And there are clear yeah. policies in place regarding spectators and backstage areas. It's not a backstage area. It's literally a curtain. Like, yeah, it's not a back... Let's be real. It's not like, oh, it's a real solid backstage area. Like You know that like PCA where it's like there's doors and you cannot go backstage? Like, it's yeah. not just a curtain where you could just go like this and see. Well, mate, like, I actually said this. So, you know when um, last year when Finley won the overall, I ran... Backstage, I ran onto the stage and around the corner, and then one of the guys from PCA literally chased me and was like, "Oh shit, Reese, sound, don't do that again, please, mate." But and I was like, "Yeah, yeah cool, no worries, mate." And I didn't tell. But like, imagine so he's probably just gone backstage. He's probably just been grabbed by pads. Yeah, and literally been beaten up. Imagine like if that happened, like again, PCA aren't going to do that. But it was like they walked, they they literally one guy chased me, and he went, "Oh shit, Reese, cool, just don't do that again, mate." Uh, I was told by the guys on the thing to come and get you, and I was like, "Yeah, sound, sorry." I was like, "I just lost fair, my feeling, they, they are like they do the, the security staff at the two bro shows. They are very like hostile, almost, almost seem, over, yeah. over the top. Like, yeah, but it does literally say all venue security staff are SIA licensed. I don't know what that stands for licensed professionals and have strict instructions to prevent non-paying spectators attending our event and to prevent unauthorized persons accessing official areas during classes. Two bros will not be commenting any further until the police investigations are complete. So let's leave it at that. Like that happened. We obviously thought we'd address it because I know everyone will be like, oh, what happened? Uh, we didn't see it. We weren't there for that time. So let's actually chat about the show um, rather than yeah. just the scrap. Uh, so yeah. we didn't get there till... Um, basically like the routines of the open classes um we were a little bit yeah. late because reese is always late um so the, yeah, we got the first... there at a time. Like, uh -huh. i think we got there at a pretty good time we did get there at a good time i'll give you that yeah. um so the first actual class that we saw again we didn't see that any of the open classes but we saw the routines and then it actually go into when it was being judged so basically the standout from the open classes was the Bavarian bull guy. Yeah. The guy who ended up winning, winning the overall. He was really, really good. So this was... We, we looked at him walk out, didn't we? And we literally were like, like he should win this. Like, because yeah. we hadn't seen the prejudging at all. And we just watched him. He's doing his individual. And obviously, it was in the same class as uh, Heck Rules, so Nathan Heckles. And we were like, that, that guy should win. He was like, we were like, who's that? And then he obviously... Think... Um, that, so... so I think that's like, I think that was the novice, because they were still having novice yeah. classes. Then you had... Yeah, I think this was the heavyweights because the guy, the guy that won the heavyweight, um, trained by K, uh, he yeah. was the top two in the overall. Both coached by yeah. uh, Martin Winston. We said we, we need to get him on. Um, I actually had a few people when I put you know put the thing about like give us your recommendations who you want on. I had a couple of people say to get mm. him on. Um, so this was the super heavies, which is probably the, the the like most exciting of the open classes. So you had Josh Dougal who yeah. came in fifth. He was just a lot softer than he was a couple of weeks ago. Basically, he'd already started his off-season, hadn't he? Just, like, filled up a hell of a lot and then thought, we'll still go into it. Uh, we're going to get Josh on at some point, because um, I know you do listen to the podcast, mate. Uh, so, yeah, we'll get Josh on at some point. But, yeah, just looked softer, bigger and fuller, but he was soft. Not and he'll, he'll, he'll say that. He's not going to be like, no, I wasn't. Like, he was. Um, Tom, I know you said you watched a post about Tom. So, if you want to go into that, mate. Yeah. Uh, had a bit. Of, I think he said he might have had a panic attack on the drive there, and then was like unable to eat, um, and stuff like that. Got there really late. Got his tan really late. I think apparently he was on the drive. He trained on Friday, which I don't know. He trains the day before, and he said on the post he was like, "If I looked the way I did at one thirty on like for, well, one, he said if I looked how I did on Friday midday, I would have beat the guy who won." Uh, and he said he honestly thought that, and like in the nicest way possible, Tom. 
I disagree. I think I think a lot of people would disagree. I think he could have pushed um, into the top three, but the guy that won was I think, ridiculous. Yeah, I think, yeah, the guy like yeah, and I don't mean that in a bad way to Tom. I mean the guy who was who, who won literally was a, an absolute alien. Like yeah, the, the the guy in the middle is an absolute freak. Like I think if you look at him in comparison to Matt and in comparison to Denise, I think Tom, if he was like a hundred, hundred, hundred percent, which I still think is a good amount better than this, like I think he could easily win that class if you exclude the guy that won. But the guy that won is one of those sort of people that's just like, yeah, he's very, very, very good. So, yeah, so he had a bit of, a, of stress the day before, but he obviously got on stage still, got fourth, was sound. Um, Nath got third, which he, like, funnily enough, in the regional, they actually finished in the same order. So it was literally like, um, but, but imagine it was like you didn't, because Matt wasn't in the regional and neither was a Bavarian Bull. So they finished in the same order. Nath, uh, Tom, Josh, and then Matt came in. So uh, Matt Tofton, he did Matt the... Tofton did really well. Really good showing. Yeah, he did matters uh, to qualify to tick the box, and it's mad to think he probably would have like been in a shout for the pro card. Like him in that train by K would have been very, very close. Yeah, if he looked really, really good. Time. Yeah, he looked really good. Um, best I've seen him by a mile. Which Compete, to be fair, I don't really follow him. like. Yeah, I, I don't really follow him that well, but like I, I look at how he looks, and it's like shit. He looks like fucking impressive. Like he's yeah, really, he's really, really, really good. Yeah, and uh, and yeah, he looks really good. So yeah, that was that. And then we had, like I said, Bavarian Ball who won, um, which again, like no surprise, he's uh, he's a joke. Like, he's so good, really, really good to see in person. So yeah, that's that. I think yeah, he's, he yeah, he's coached ridiculous. by Martin, coached by K guy was coached by Martin. Yeah. And then the other two kids in the overall um, were like not that close. Like it literally was like one and two. Like, I didn't really look at the other people, um, which is a shame because they're probably really good bodybuilders. But when there's two that are like so, so clear, like what in the overall? Like, yeah. Yeah. I didn't look at the other two. Really. Yeah. The other yeah, two were, like, were miles off. It was literally just, yeah, the, the, the heavyweight and the super heavyweight, very close, but yeah. And I say very close. It wasn't that close. Like Bavarian ball. It was like, yeah, he's going to win it. The heavyweight, the train by K, he was sharper through the glutes and the hamstrings. His back shots were probably a, a little bit better. And like, again, like sharper, but not necessarily better. But from the front, this guy just, yeah, smashed him. Really, really good. Yeah, I agree. I agree. His delts, so, yeah. like his, his roundness of his delts and his arms, like really, really nice. He's he's long, long, but he's like not like long. Like, yeah. When you, it's, when, it's like, for example, the sort of dude who like, I don't know how he's done before, but like I guarantee people would have said to him when you ah. feel that frame out you feel that frame out and then when you see someone with a frame filled out and they're like that it's like yeah shit like Nave's tall Nave's a big dude and like look at him by comparison he looks like a fucking alien so yeah really really good to see that was he, he was very very good um so that was like the the main sort of open classes then yep. on to classic which was really good to be fair it was uh quite exciting so um the main the main sort of talking point of the classic was the the winner which was brandon mind of muscle which we spoke about we did speak about brandon quite a lot um uh, on the uh the last review which was the regional um other people worthy of mentioning um joe ballinger competed came second in his class against leon um this is leon uh who was really really good really impressive there was also um that guy he's called Paré black um his actual name was jose it's like jose louis something jose. Jose Enrique? Enrique, yeah, That's Jose Enrique. Back. Um, so this was the overall. So we had Ham Hamsik. Um, <laughs> Marek Hamsik on the right. Um, Jose we had Enrique. Barry Black. Um, we had Brandon, Mind of Muscle, and uh Leon. Um and it was yeah. I think really it was between Brandon and Leon. Like I thought it would be between Brandon and and Paré or Jose. But I think to be fair, like there were some body parts that H Jose was a lot better than Leon, but as an overall package, like I just think Leon was really good. Leon definitely deserved to win his class. Yeah. Definitely deserved to to beat Joe, but Brandon was really like the standout, wasn't he, in that class, in the overall? Yeah. Like it was, it was going to be Brandon. Like we kind of realistically already knew that, even just going into the uh, to the show, it was like okay, realistically, it's it's going to be uh, Brandon. Um, and then Brandon went on to compete in the pro show because it was a classic pro show afterwards and ended up coming third so he came third um who came second uh oh um dylan the yeah, oh yeah dylan. dylan's yeah um From, and then that, like he 
Matt Pierre or somewhere like that, I'm pretty sure. It's like D no, it's it's not I don't think it's like that. It's like uh sure it Dillon. It's I yeah, think it's, it's with an O. Like, oh, okay, fair enough, yeah. Dylan's twenty four years old. <laughs> so Dylan's came second in the uh yeah. the classic pro lineup. Here it is. And then this uh, the guy called it's like Ricotti. Um was his the guy that won. I don't know yeah. if he's on there. Maybe not. But this was the top three. So Brandon did really, really well getting to the top three going into the pro show. Um, Dylan's was second. Craig Morton came fourth, who we'd said, obviously, we'd seen him compete at the Arnold's and he's quite well known um, for being like yeah. a, a decent classic pro. Um, so for Brandon to beat him in his first classic show, that was really, really cool. Or his first pro show. Um, so that was good. Any other people worthy of really noting within classic? Uh, I think we've named most people that I'd say. Yeah, I'd say like the only real exciting class I thought was the one with um, the Joe Ballinger and uh, Leon. Yeah, Joe and Leon think, were pretty close. Brandon, yeah, Brandon won his class like really easily. Obviously, he won the pro card, which makes complete sense um, and stuff like that. And then what are we what are we cracking on with now, mate? Are we going? Into, I don't know. Two bros haven't spoken about men's physique. Uh, yeah, we can, we'll go into men's physique. Up. Two bros haven't really posted that much. Um, yeah. So yeah, so going into men's physique, physique I'll get some, uh, that... some photos up. Yeah, two bros for some reason they decide to like post like every they, they seem to get delayed every time. So they post quite up to date up until about midday and they just start posting randomly. Like they'll put like the overall who's the winner and it's like 24 hours later and it's like we all know who's won, bro. Like yeah. <laughs> very, very, very strange. It's like They're pretty the, switched the, on with it for the first like hour or so of the show. Yeah, they only pay the admin guy for like literally the first like morning. Yeah. You know what it is? People don't want to pay. They know they've got to charge fucking fifty quid for yeah. morning, and then it like even entry. So they're only going to be paying the guy <laughs> for for a morning shift. But yeah, Gerard um won the uh, pro card. Like no real surprise. Coached there. by like, coached by Jace, and yeah, yeah he like, was looks ridiculous. Looks ridiculous. Yeah, like stupidly good. Like there's there's often times where you look at somebody and you're just like. He's won. Like, he's won. Like, it, it, it's just one of those sort of things. And fair play to him. I mean, he's been at the crack now for a long time. First show was in 2021, Natty. Uh, did 2022, won uh, an NPC. I think it was the Arnold's. I think he did. Um, or if I'm not mistaken, I think he got second, but he won his qualifier. And then it was like 2023, won a few this year. Like, he won an overall last year. When, you're, when you've got projection of, like, win, winning everything, every single show you've done, and you're just getting better and better and better and better, like, it's bound to happen. And to be fair, I'm surprised it's happened now. I thought it would happen last year. I remember looking at him going, that's a pro. Like, that's a legit pro. Yeah, so, he was very, yeah. very good. He was well-deserved. Yeah, so like we said, like, obviously, yeah. there was a lot of good people in, in and around him. So, like... You had Matt LeMay, who we've got a, an episode coming out soon. Uh, he was at, he came to the studio, so we've got Matt LeMay. Uh, there was also Pierce, who was really good, um, yep. especially his glutes. Pierce's glutes were, were great. Um, so, yeah, better. Pierce was really like good. Said, didn't we? Huh? Did we say better in person? Did we say better in person or worse in person? I nah, can't worse, remember worse in person. Worse, worse in person. Okay. Um, yeah. Carry on, mate. No, so yeah, Matt got Matt got first in his class. Um, what was your opinion with Matt? And then that was it, Ben Ben Fock. If I'm not, was it was it Ben Fock? Yeah, Ben was against Fock? Ben Fock was against Matt, and that was uh, yeah, that was pretty close. To be fair, closer than I thought it would be. Um, but yeah, I think yeah, Matt definitely deserved to take that. It was close though. I was like, okay, it could it could go maybe either way, but yeah. obviously we were rooting for Matt. Yeah, um, and, then, and the guy that obviously Pierce was Pierce v Alex. In their class, which I um I, I actually spoke to P Pierce was like because I tagged him in the story and he was like thanks for that make my abs look a bit washed out and uh and I said his, to him just like spam his, the push ups bro his midsection was because sharp he he looked really good he, was sharp. he, he was really yeah, really I sharp this yeah, I thought his midsection was sharp yeah very yeah, good I thought Alex yeah I said Alex's chest and delts were like so full so so full but I thought Pierce was more conditioned uh back shot was like so much better but i think that's from posing as well i don't think uh alex hits his rear shot at all well when it comes to his rear delts we said that before haven't we uh like with how he how, how he kind of like say pops the shot off and stuff like that so i thought pierce was like the deserved winner after that class but it was close because alex is really good like he's got a very nice look i just think criteria wise when i just think he's got a few flaws which is a shame and it will hold him back but yeah. i know he's carrying on he's I think got that, a wicked man that class you know pierce was he did stand out. Like Alex was great, but it was like P 
Pierce was just a bit sharp, and like you say, posing was better. Rear shot was lights out. Yeah, and Bloops. then going <laughs> boots were incredible. Yeah, just yeah. Shot, like you see the detail through like the midsection, the obliques, the serratus, pop through the delts, like really good. But then yeah. obviously into the overall, Gerard was. It was between Gerard and Michael uh, Kent. Yeah, uh, and it was pretty close. Yeah, to be fair. Yeah, yeah I Michael, forgot about that. Michael was yeah. really, really good. Like, probably if if Gerard wasn't there, Michael would have won. Uh, he he looked great, really, really good. Like, he's not far off at all, is he? Like, if if Gerard doesn't turn up, you're going fucking hell. He's 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 won. But like, he was yeah. better than the rest. Like again, Matt's great. Pierce is great. Um, Andre's great. We said Andre and. Um, what was this guy's name? Du- is it Dwayne? Dwayne, yeah, I think so, Dwayne. Yeah. yeah, they were both very good, but just obviously not quite as sharp. Michael was just so much sharper, so deserved the win. I will say, those, those three boys, mate, were incredibly attractive. Like, oh, yeah. Michael's... Men's, men's yeah, Michael, yeah, yeah, Michael's incredibly looking. Dre, like, to be fair, Dre's face looks a bit puffy there, to be fair. It might have... Uh, he might was, have he was soft. Much. He was soft, was Dre. He was, yeah. Yeah, his face doesn't look that lean. But then that, that Dwayne guy, you can tell he's got a lot of followers. He just looks like you... Like, I feel like he's the kind of guy you just pop up and see a reel of him and he's, like, just doing his skincare routine and you're just, like, you weirdly watch and get a bit, like, a bit a bit, a bit of a semi and you're just like, God, what am I doing? What? <laughs> this is weird. Right. And then you follow him. And Let's move on. So... We're gonna get Brandon on. He's actually in the waiting room now. So I've, I've texted him. I've said you're in the waiting room. We'll we'll bring you in in a few minutes, and we'll be live straight away. So let's hope I'm bringing him in now. Let's hope there's no uh, there's no issues. Hopefully his phone works. Every, if everything works straight away. If not, we'll just edit it. So his mic's his mic's not on. Your mic's not on, and we can't see you, mate. I don't know. Oh oh, I can hear yeah, you. Hey. Wait, right, turn your phone sideways, mate, and then it'll be it should be spot on. Uh, my, I'm such a technical there fucking... There we go. Hey, perfect. <laughs> we're in. Now. Yeah, we're in, mate. Right, we're in straight away. We're live. We're on. Obviously, uh, if oh, you do sorry. say anything, if you say anything that you don't want in, we can always edit it, mate. But first of all, congratulations, mate. Congrats on the win and congrats on the that engagement is... as well. So yeah, people that don't was know... The, the bigger of the two. Yeah, the the engagement was uh, was a surprise, mate. Um, to be fair, you could like we didn't like say anything. We didn't like assume it was going to happen. But when you could tell when you were like thinking about it, when you were holding the mic and you were like taking your time, I was like, he's doing something here. So yeah, basically, well, people that don't know, so hard on that. No, you did sound. So Brandon won. We obviously we've already gone through it. Like we've done like a review, mate. So we've gone through your photos and everything. So Brandon won. Obviously won his pro card. Came third in the classic show, uh, and then proposed to his uh, his now fiance. So. Yeah, talk us through it, mate. Talk us through the day, your emotions. How was it? I, I honestly didn't like. There's uh, there's so many things that went, was going through my mind. Um, like, you know, one of the the biggest things actually happened before the show. Like, I haven't had like the best relationship with my dad, and I was outside talking with my now fiance's parents about like having the ring set up and like they brought it up with them so they were like bringing me the ring and then I, I i noticed his car in the fucking car park um yeah and it like it totally threw me um just because i didn't expect him to be there yeah um i mean i'm glad he i'm, I'm glad he was there in a way but um yeah it threw me like uh, for the for, for a little bit um so there was a lot of like emotion going in backstage even before we even started like pumping up or anything like that um but yeah like it was a pretty pretty comfortable show like going in i was confident my coach was mega confident which was always a good thing um yeah. but yeah like, we, like we thought that going into it it was like you're the guy to be in classic for the pro card so especially yeah, like, in way, like i enjoy that because everyone like knew who i was and stuff but there's a lot of pressure to that. Yeah, massively. Definitely. There's a lot of pressure to that. Sorry, I'm not probably shaking because I'm holding my phone like no, no, crazy. It's fine, man. Don't worry. It's don't fine. worry. I mean, you're still on loads of clan. It's fine. Like you don't want to rebound too badly, you know. I'm not actually, no. <laughs> but yeah, man, you look you look really good. Like I think going into it, 
we were like me and Vince said, it would have been very surprising if you weren't to come away with it. But then at the same time, you don't know who flies in. Like for example, that parry okay, exactly. black guy. Um, so the guy from Spain. Like I don't, I didn't know he was doing the show. And then when I saw him doing the show, I was like, oh, that's going to be quite cool because I imagine he'd get into the overall. But I thought it was more so. Who did you think out of the overall? If there was anybody who was going to pip you, who did you have? If there was going to be anybody, or were you just like, oh, I didn't think, bro. My... I was uh, I don't I'm gonna butcher his name. It's like Lil Lil Leon Leon. Yeah, Lilion? it's Leon. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, it's like, the Irish spelling version. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Looking at from a classic standpoint, he was good. Um, he was like the biggest like classic threat. You have like Joe Ballinger and stuff, and um, but like, he's a great bodybuilder. Um. But in terms of classic, maybe not the best suited. Yeah, uh, at least from from my opinion, anyway. So it was probably Leon. I think I think a lot of people share that opinion, mate. I don't think that's a yeah. We shout, we were like, saying weren't we? Like Joe, no Joe is, go, like... Joe's really good as a bodybuilder, but he's not classic. Like yeah, yeah. Leon Leon shouldn't realistically be beating Joe, but he does. Yeah. just a lot more classic. Yeah. And I think like we were saying like about the standard, like there was literally, in my opinion, in the whole of the amateurs, there was probably three to four guys that I actually looked at and thought they look like classic bodybuilders. You yeah. that Leon. Um Harry's okay, but I think he's he looks more like a bodybuilder as well. Yeah. Like he gets this away is... with it because of his shape, but with like... I don't think he screams classic to me. Like with all the amateurs, it's like because the bodybuilding cap is is high, like obviously there isn't one. I don't think, or is there now? What within within bodybuilding, like the actual cap? Yeah, there is a bodybuilding cap, isn't there? I'm not sure. There is obviously weight classes, but I don't think there's a certain top point. Yeah, that's what I thought. So you know, you have like these guys that are the smaller end of bodybuilding who don't want to compete with the guys that are, are giants, so they go, "Well, where's my next best yeah. option?" Yeah. Well try and squeeze myself into classic because there's a cap I'll know that I'll be the biggest there and like you know classic's not about weight like I think yeah. people get into their head about how heavy you are and how big you are and stuff like look at all of the, the pro lot I'm, I'm shocked that I placed third at that in that so um yeah it's not about size well, you deserve that third place like I that third place in the in your first pro show like you definitely I thought like you were pushing it to be fair. I was like, I don't know. It could do. It, it, like, when it was you against Craig, I was like, we're obviously comparing for quite a good place in here. Like, I didn't know. I didn't think it'd be first and second because I did think the guy that won was going to win, didn't we? We said like, and yeah. when they pushed him out to the side, well, that's a bit weird. And then we thought maybe it's just because they think that he's won. But and they called like, you out first, and then it was actually second call out. Yeah, <laughs> which was a bit like, oh fuck. Yeah, um, we way yeah, up. I actually spoke with the judges because I was. You know, like I was fucked at this point. Like I, they knew I was being pushed, um, having like been like an hour and a half before, and they came backstage just to basically check that I hadn't died. Um, and they were saying like, if your tan was darker, you might have done better. Yeah. So we said, who knows? Who, who knows, man? I'm just happy that I walked away with something from it. Like I went into it hoping for a pro card, ended up coming out with some money, a pro card, and now for so I'm ecstatic either way. Yeah, it's a mental, bit of a mental weekend. Like all of that, yeah. in, well, not even a weekend in like uh, the space of an hour, a bit, a bit of a mental hour. Um, yeah. So, in terms of plans moving forwards, mate, what's the plan? Uh, this, this year's I don't have any plans for a pro show. Um, I want to take some time to like develop my physique, um, like build on what I've got. Obviously, the weight cap's now gone up by eleven pounds and. And I know I can come in tighter. So realistically, I'm looking at like a 95, 96 kilo, like pro lean. Mm. At weight. Um, uh, so yeah, like I, I have another like eight and a half kilos basically to put on. That's exciting. That's a lot. Where yeah. do you think that you need to improve the most? I don't know, man. Like I, I'm waiting for feedback. So... <laughs> Probably one all thing, over. One thing that we said, didn't we? Like your legs are really good. Like especially when you look at like your your you just on your own. You look at your quads and you go, "Fucking hell, his quads are really good." But then when, were... huh? 
They've always been a shit point for me. They were, yeah, but they, they, it was weird because they're so good. Like they're really, really good, and like they're shaped they're lovely, really well, but they're just a bit small in comparison yeah. to where they. That's like, and the the scary thing is, mate, in the in the pro lineup, like you literally had the smallest waist out of everybody, and it's like if you were to bring those quads up because they're shaped so well that if you yeah. were just to add a bit more, like again, your quads on their own look ridiculous, but when you're in a lineup, like especially like in a front relaxed, you can see that it's just probably a bit more meat need- needed. We but also like said, end, didn't we as like, well? When you when you bring your arms overhead, it's almost like you just need that bit more in the in the pro lineup, especially that bit more size, like bit more like meat through your lats. And then, like, your physique for classic is spot. that was feedback from the the rid the first game we did was was back and legs, yeah, um, back and legs and and don't look like I'm I'm I want to kill myself. Yeah, smile. Yeah, that's Dan that you beat. Yeah, no, very good man, really really good and exciting. So yeah, I'm, what do you reckon weight wise? You reckon on this off season, if you want to get up to ninety five, like what's your what's your heaviest that you've been before? Oh, you I mean, on stage, on stage, I was I was ninety seven point five, okay. but like I'm saying, if I were to be as lean and conditioned as some of these pros, like I think maybe I would be ninety five at the, at the current yeah. size. So in order yeah, to yeah. be at my cap, I would be like one hundred and two ish. So another eight kilos on top of what I currently am. Yeah. No, fair enough, man. Yeah, really, really, really good. I'm not sure there's a on my lats and my quads alone, but uh, um, yeah, I think I'm sure you, mate. you might struggle just to do that. But I think of your shaping structure, mate, it'll be really good. How old are you, if you don't mind me asking, mate? I'm 25. That's mental. Hell. Good. That is mental. Yeah. When was, when was younger first? than me. Like, that's crazy. Yeah. When was what, <laughs> When was your your first show? Like, when did you get into this? Because, like, genuinely, mate, like, as rude as it sounds, I had saw a photo of you when you competed last year, but I hadn't really heard of you till this year. And I think a lot of people probably say the same. Like, I know Finn said he hadn't seen you till the regional. I was like, this is classic guy. Ridiculous. Yeah, no, my my first show was um, August two years ago. That was the one just before Brandon Harding won his pro card. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, we I I did the regional there and ended up winning, like beating him. Um, but I didn't expect anything from it, so I just went into it like my first show, just do my first show, like test the waters, see how things are. Um, yeah. yeah, I didn't expect to win and you know beat someone who then later on moved over to do, to do a, a pro qualifier. I think it was Austria. Um, but yeah, then he won his pro card there. So yeah, I was like, I was. They were probably about two years ago, yeah, two and a half. Is the uh, yeah. is the secret leg pressing in Crocs? Do you know what? It's, it's funny because I, I hated Crocs for so long. Everyone um, them now. Yeah, I know. Like everyone's so into them. Uh, it's, they're actually a gift from my missus. Uh, she bought them for me you as a joke. To, got to wear. <laughs> she, she bought them for me as a joke at, at like Christmas party. Um. And I just realized how convenient they are for training like legs. When you're taking knee sleeves on and off, yeah. like you don't want to with un with unlacing uh like converse and shit. So the crocs came out. And I don't want to be that guy in sliders. Like I'm not I'm not Jordan Peters, I'm not a <laughs> freak, you know. I've gone away from that. I, I I was trying to be that guy not long ago. We both were to be fair. We went through a sliders phase, didn't we, Reese? It's crazy how much difference yeah, awesome. in off season, like now. You look like you're quite a pretty boy, whereas like in off season you just look like a big bloke that just trains hard. Like it's funny how you yeah. change in the prep. Yeah, no, yeah, my face changes a lot. Yeah, like that doesn't look like you, bro. It's like, no. completely different. I was looking at some of your training though after the regional, like especially your leg training, like very strong on like your hacks and stuff. I mean, it's no surprise with how your quads are. Yeah, it was the I'm I'm str- I'm really strong, which pisses me off. Like. I'm strong, but at the same time, there's so much more room for physique development. And I think I need to to to, to take a word out of other people's books here and train like a bodybuilder rather than train like someone who wants to lift heavy. Yeah, but also it's uh, got this far. Like you're not. It's... Yeah, I know. You almost I like fine tune always... it, then, don't you? From when you've got to that point, milk it a little bit. Yeah. Right. Uh, I think we'll wrap it up. I got one more question. I got one. I got mind of muscle. What? What's the name for, bro? Where, where did that come from? Um, 
So I created the account and it was just suggested. To be honest, like That's cool. it was just suggested. Um like because I didn't want to be like Brandon hitting fit- fitness or whatever. So train by Brandon. Mm-hmm. You don't want to be a train by Brandon or something like that. I just feel like that's just too long, isn't it? Like mind, mind the muscles cool. Like that's pretty cool as well. That's a good story. It's like it just came up. Right. <laughs> I chose it. It just kind of came out of nowhere. Um, and it's stuck. So I'm not going to change it. No. I was debating about IFBB Pro, but I was like, oh, like, it's just, I don't want to be that guy. Put it in my bio, but like, yeah, uh, I'm not gonna like, I'm not gonna be that guy. No, that's cool. All right, pleasure to have you on, mate. Appreciate your time. Yeah. Like we said, uh, obviously we had a chat, didn't we, on um, on Instagram. Whenever you're up for it, feel free come up. You say you're down south, like near Brighton, aren't you? Yeah. So yeah, whenever you fancy it, mate come up we'll have a session get you on the podcast actually in the studio and have a proper chat because obviously this is just like 10 minutes don't want to take up too much of your time and it's good just to have a, like with these show reviews you're just like bringing people on who maybe won their pro cards or people who have done well just for like a quick chat so whenever mate drop me a message i'll drop you a message and we'll get it sorted yeah man definitely i mean we 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 want to travel up anyway we just like we want to like airbnb it make a like a kind of like a road trip up that way because there's so many good gyms up that way yeah where we yeah. are with but we, we've got a puppy and oh, a house and shit so it's like it's just so much going on that's why I'm in the bedroom because the dog and the missus uh, I've got my little brother over and the dog and the missus are all like playing around out there so that's why I'm I'm, I'm cooped up that's cool man cool alright pleasure to have you mate Um, I'll yeah. I'll send you um a message sort of when we're uploading this and everything but appreciate your time mate and we'll chat with you soon yeah man awesome cool, cool man Catch you Sound? I'm smashing this. I'm doing this all live. <laughs> Who do you want to report? What happened? Why did you remove Brandon from the meeting? Um, right. So we're going to wrap this up um, and we're going to do a second part where we're going to review the female section. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Right. Cool. Peace, guys. <laughs>